Number 45. A four ton air conditioner removes 5.06 times 10 to the 7 joules, aka 48,000 British thermal units, aka BTU, uh, from a cold environment in one hour. All right, letter A. What energy input in joules is necessary to do this if the air conditioner has an energy efficiency rating EER of 12? All right. So, um, you know we're going to be using basically this formula, right? We're involving energy efficiency rating. So let's just discuss that quickly because uh, I don't necessarily uh, like it in its current form. So um, this is basically, so the formula is telling us that it's basically the uh, heat uh, basically removed from the cold environment divided by the time, T1. And by the way, that time is in hours, okay? This time here is in hours, hours divided then by uh, the work done or the work inputted in order to remove this particular amount of heat divided by then the time two which is in seconds okay to further complicate matters this heat value removed is in BTUs it's in British thermal units and then this is in joules right so I mean this formula is like literally all over the place so I'm gonna try to simplify it for you a little bit so EER let's write it this way, is going to be equal to Q sub C all over T1, all right, multiplied then by the reciprocal of the denominator. That's going to be T2 over work, okay? Now, I can't really do much about this. This will always be in BTU, and this will always be in joules. You just got to remember that when you're dealing with energy efficiency rating. However, what I can do is something about these two temperatures, all right? So what I'm going to do here is temperature one, remember I mentioned was in hours, Okay, so let me just plug in the, let me just write hour here. And temperature two was in seconds. Okay, now you actually do know a relationship between hours and seconds, right? Uh, basically, there are 3,600 seconds in an hour, right? So there's 3,600 of these, 3,600 seconds per single hour. Okay, now, the beauty of this is that since I defined this relationship, all right, per hour, this is my true variable then. My hours is the true variable. Basically what I did was I converted seconds most, you know, it, it doesn't feel like it, but I, I basically got rid of seconds now from my equation and I'm going to define it now per hour. So what I can do is this. I can now have this new formula, all right, that says it's going to be Q sub C multiplied by, or actually let me just write this, Q sub C over time in hours multiplied then by 3,600, oops, 3,600 divided by then the work. Now, if I recombine this, right, if I want to recombine it, it would look something like this now. It would be 3,600 times the heat removed from the cold environment in BTU, that I can't change, divided by then the work done in joules multiplied now by the time in hours, okay? So this will consider our new formula, EER. And let me just define the units, okay? Because I think this is a lot easier to work with instead of two different times and it's, I don't know. I think this is just easier. So um, again, this is in BTU, BTU. This is in joules and this will be in hours, okay? And this is all you, this is all you need. So now we can approach this particular problem. So what did they tell us? They told us the air conditioner removes this amount of heat, right? And they gave us the thermal units, the British thermal units of so 48,000, right? So they told us basically Q sub C. They also told us the time in hours. Okay, great. So they gave us the T down here. And they were asking us to find what energy input. And remember, I mentioned that the energy input here is going to be work, the W. And they want it in joules. And that's great because that's what the formula will spit out for me anyway. So... In essentially, what I need to do here is solve this thing for work. And that should be relatively easy, right? Watch. So this is just 3,600 times the Q sub C, times Q sub C, all then divided by work times time. So, so hold on one second. Work times time is equal to EER. All you literally have to do is solve this thing for W. All you have to do then is you can remove this one piece of the denominator because they're multiplied together. You can move it out of the denominator on the left and into the numerator on the right, move whatever out in the numerator on the right, down into the denominator on the left, 
and there is your formula. So easy, right? So simple. Now all you got to do is plug the stuff in. So this is 3600. Okay, 3600 multiplied by Q sub C and BTU, so that's 48,000, divided by uh, the EER value, um, and that was 12, multiplied by the time in hours, which was one hour. Okay, and that's it. Just plug it on into the calculator. So 3,600 times then 48,000 divided by 12, and here we get a value of about 1.44 times 10 to the, what is that, three? It looks like seven. All right, and joules. That is the work input. And that's all you have to do. All right, so I'm probably going to refer you back to this particular formula. So just keep this formula in mind. All right. And uh, yeah, that takes care of letter uh, A. So let's clean this up a little bit. All right, how are you guys doing today? Hopefully good, right? You are basically halfway through your semester or three quarters of the way through your school year. All right, so that's always exciting. And I hope everyone's also doing well and healthy. Um, all right. So letter B. What is the cost of doing this if the work costs 10 cents per this many joules, aka one kilowatt hour? Okay, so this is the amount of work put in, right? So this is the, uh, the energy company is going to charge you for using this amount of energy. So we just have to basically do a very or fairly simple conversion here. Let me call that letter A, and this will now be letter, uh, let me put it in blue, letter B. So we are starting with this number of joules being consumed, 10 to the seven joules, and it's gonna be um, 10 cents per this many joules. So obviously this is just a very simple conversion, right? Per 3.60 times 10 to the six joules, it costs about 10 cents in terms of dollar, that's 0.1. And then the joules would cancel, right? And we can just multiply this on out. So times 0.1 divided by 3.6 times 10 to the sixth. And it's about 40 cents, 0 0.4, all right? So that's how much it's going to, uh, what is the cost of doing this? If the work costs, yeah, 10 cents per that many joules, uh, did I? Yeah, yeah, that's good, all right? And then um, what do we have? Discuss whether the cost seems realistic. Uh, I don't know. It seems a little low, but that, I, I, I don't know. I don't look at the bills. Um, anyway, okay. That's basically that. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it very much. Um, please remember to help us out and subscribe. And we look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.